If you're looking for a fast, no-code option for helping you to keep stock of your property management, well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down a template that is available for you in Softer. Using this template will allow you to manage properties, including the collection of rents and other different components that are part of property management in general. In this video, we're gonna be breaking it all down, so if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth and this is Gap Consulting, where we make it our mission to help you unlock the full potential of no-code tools. Software is one of our favorite front-end software options in the no-code space. It allows us to build that web application on top of data that lives somewhere else or even soon inside of software itself. In this video, as I said, I'm going to be breaking down how to leverage this property management template so that you can manage your own properties inside of this no-code option. Now, before we get going, I want to encourage you to follow along with me. I will share with this video a link to the template so you can just boom, install it and get started for free. Now I'm inside of a software account already and I can also search for these templates here if I'm already in my account. Now I know already what I'm looking for. It's gonna be the property management template and you can see right here, I can make the selection and this is telling me that I can build that back end data schema in Airtable. Now this is one of those bonus features of software where they've actually shortened the learning curve for us. We don't have to build the data schema by hand. We can just copy it into whatever software we're using for that back end. So for us, that's going to be Airtable. And we can see here a preview of this application. So on the right hand side, we can navigate through some different screenshots of the application. I usually like to start here before I begin installing because it's giving me an indication of what this is like what am I going to actually get out of this so back here we see that we can go through and kind of search through our different properties so we can see what's leased what's partially leased what's vacant and then presumably click into these properties and get a breakdown of the detail of that particular unit now we can also go in and we see here we have inspections so we can see we've got different inspections with various different status from completed to to do etc we have contractors here as well so we can keep a list of contractors on hand as we need work done for our properties we can manage that all here we have our tenants and lease information so storing some information about our tenants what their rent is when is the next payment due etc all of this being managed here inside of our new template so let's go ahead and install the template. The first part we need to do is to create the data schema back in Airtable. Now I wanna pause here and first say you don't have to use Airtable because Softer does integrate with other tools as well, but the template is built with Airtable in mind. So you'll have to create that back end from scratch if you're using another software to store your data. Now for us, we're going to move ahead and say use template. And on the next screen, it's asking us where we want to sync this up. So we already have some integrations built with Airtable. If we don't already have this, we can add a new source here and just click here to add this and sync this up with our Airtable account. Right here, it's gonna ask us to authorize this access, which we will grant. I'll add this as myself, and we can add a database or we can add the entire workspace in general. So I'm gonna go with the entire workspace here and grant that access. Now what we need to do is copy this into our Airtable account. Again, this is gonna create the entire backend data schema. We don't have to build any of this thanks to the template in Softer. So I'm going to copy it to my Airtable account. Now I've got Softer and Airtable talking, but I need to make sure to add this in. So I'm gonna drop it in here to my demo space and add this database. Once this is done, it's gonna take just a few moments here to create that entire data schema. And as you can see, I already have some sample data here. I've got my users. This is important information for who has access to my application. If you're not a user, you can't access the app. Now I also have my properties listed out here. You can see that right now I have nine sample data points. Uh, of course, we can delete these once we actually deploy the solution and you can enter in your own properties that you want to help manage. We have our units here. 
So our units are presumably components of the property. So if I have apartments or something else of that nature, I can break up a property into multiple units, each unit getting leased out to different tenants. Next, I'll go into my landlords here, and my landlords are going to have a different hierarchy, right? They are connected to the properties. So essentially, I am managing the properties on behalf of these landlords. So you could imagine that if you're doing your own property management in here, you're only gonna have the one landlord. But if you expand your business and you wanna manage property for others as well, you can do it inside of the application by naming new landlords. Now we also have our tenants, and you can see right here that we've got different tenants linked to the properties, and more particularly to units within those properties. We also have inspections, because we have to do inspections on the properties. As we mentioned earlier, we have tasks as well, so certain things that need to be completed. And of course, this is going to link up to our contractors, because we are looking to hire people to do the work on these different properties. So we are managing all the different components here, the tenants, the landlords, the people who are doing work to keep the property up, a lot of moving parts. Let's flip back now into softer because we have now kind of gone through the backend data schema and now it's time to put that web application into our softer account. Remember, we're now copying the front end of the template. So we can say, go to application and this is going to create that application directly inside of our softer account and it's already talking with the data inside of Airtable because we have it synced up to the database that we just copied in. Now, if for some reason you don't see your database, it's probably because you didn't give the right level of permissions to Softer to talk to Airtable. In order to overcome this, let's flip back into Airtable, click in the upper right corner and go down to your integrations. Here you're going to go to third party integrations and see where you connected with the different tools and you'll be able to approve the different levels of data access that you want to grant to Softer. So here at the very, very bottom, you can see that I just integrated Softer with that brand new link and you can see all of the bases that are shared here. You have to make sure to share the database that you copied into your Airtable account, otherwise Softer can't actually see that data. Okay, now flipping back into software, assuming that you've got it all synced up with your Airtable account, let's poke around. On the left-hand side of my screen, I'm gonna be drawn to these four different sections. Now, pages is the first component, and you'll see all the different pages of your application here. I have, for example, a login page. I did not have to build this page manually. It came with the template, but this ensures that when people are accessing your application, that they are approved logged in users who have an email and password associated with your account. Now, next, we can drill into other pages as well. The properties page. This is, as we saw on the template screen, where we can drill into those different properties. All of this data, mind you, is getting pulled from Airtable. So all of this information is gonna to relate directly to properties that we see back in Airtable on the properties table. All of these images are being pulled in. The status is being pulled in. All of that information lives in Airtable, but is accessible to our users in our front end application. Now beyond pages, we also have our theme. This is where we can go in and make some customization to the overall application. So in theme, if we want to change the heading font or the weight or the uh, the body font or the colors for text, etc., we have some control over the look and feel of the application. Next, as I mentioned, the users table in Airtable, that was the very first table, that is pulling in important information for our users here. Now, these users were inherited from Airtable, so we could remove these users just by selecting them here and clicking on actions to delete the users. But for our purposes, if we head back to Airtable, we're gonna see these same two users here. Now I also wanna highlight that we have a user type field, and this is going to dictate the type of experience the user has when they're logged into the app. As you see, we have property managers and we have admins. As a property manager, Nick is gonna see certain things within the application. As an admin, Gavin is going to have a higher level of permission. There might be new actions that Gavin can take, 
fields that he can edit, or fields that he can see that property managers cannot. And this way, we're able to create customized experiences for our users based on the level of permissions we want to give them. Now, heading back into Softer, you'll see that we've also automatically created magic links for them here. We can also add new users here. So if I wanted to create a user experience for myself, I can do that by putting in my email address, giving myself a name, and I can just say generate a magic link, add the user. It's gonna create this new magic link for me, and I can either invite now or invite later, and we're all good. You're gonna see this new user immediately added back into Airtable. Remember that Airtable is where the data lives and softer is how people are experiencing that data. Now the last element here on the side is settings. Over here we have a lot of complicated settings, things like changing the subdomain or the favicon or creating a custom domain or integrating with other tools or adding SEO so that we could be found through Google and other search engines. There are a lot of different options here, advanced setting, custom code, etc. We're not gonna go into all of this here, but if you wanna go down the rabbit hole, please know that there's a lot available with Softer. Now for us, it's time to publish our new application. So let's click here and publish our app. Notice that we have been given a new subdomain here and we can access this subdomain just by opening this in a new tab. This is what it's gonna look like for anybody who is not logged in to our web application. They're not gonna be able to see anything. They can only do one action, which is log in, right? They also have the option here to sign up or reset their password. Now for our purposes, you'll see that we've got a couple of different people that we can start impersonating right here inside of the app. I'm not gonna do that here. I'm actually gonna fly back into Softer, staying on my users tab here, and I'm gonna copy the magic link for one of these folks. So I'm gonna copy a link here for Gavin, and in a new window, paste that URL, and now I'm gonna be experiencing the application just as Gavin will. So up here, you'll see that Gavin can sign out or go to their profile. They can click right here and change their name, change their avatar, and even update password information. Gavin, again, is an admin here. So Gavin has a very unique experience. He can look in and see properties, filter down all the different properties because as an admin, he's gonna have full access. He can update information here by clicking and getting the option to add a different name, change the address, maybe even update the picture for this. So lots of different options here. Also, drilling into the units. So remember, there's a hierarchy here. A property consists of one or more units. And so we can drill in and see all of that information as well. We can see which units are vacant, which are leased, etc. We can flip into the upkeep, look at our inspections, and view the status of these, right? So this one's in progress, this one's to do, and we can really easily filter down with these nice little status filters on the side and just get a consolidated burst of data, right? So now I'm just looking at those that are in progress. I can also drill into the contractors, and this is where I see a list of all the different contractors and their contact information, email, service type, and phone number. I can drill in here and get a breakdown with even more information with some notes as well. Now, of course, we can also add new contractors to the list here, so let's go through that. We have the ability to say new contractor, add a logo, add an email, test at test.com, add a phone number, what type of service they provide, any notes we have and add them. Now, of course, these fields are required, so I can't actually submit this data, but if I had all of this information, it would automatically create the new contractor record directly in Airtable, which would immediately be visible inside of our software application. Now, we also have the landlords here. Of course, that's coming from yet another table, if you recall, inside of Airtable. Here are our landlords, and we can drill into these different landlords and get a good vision of their information, also update any information that we might want to for this particular account, and we are off to the races. Similarly, we can access our tenants as well, the different tenants that we're managing for the various properties and units. I know we went really fast in this video, but the purpose is just to highlight to you how easy it is to build the backend and 
put together an amazing front end in Softer. I should also highlight that all of this is entirely customizable. So once you install that template, you can then make whatever changes you need to the end result so that it suits you and your particular workflows. Any questions that we did not cover, please feel free to drop them below. And in the meantime, my friend, keep on building.